The universe will not open that door of opportunity until you f- appreciate this level, until you master it this at this level, till you earn it and show some f- gratitude for what you've already got, what you're, what's in your lot already. The, the doors won't even be open for you. You will not show it to you because you, don't, you haven't earned it. You didn't deserve it. You haven't mastered this level and you're not showing enough gratitude for it. Why would you even be given the opportunity for that next level until you do all the next opportunity, the big opportunity, the breakthrough, a lot of times going to come from an unlikely freaking source. You will automatically collide with it as long as you stay on this freaking path of this mindset and this manhood journey. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today we're, we're kind of rolling with this little bit different and new approach for the last couple episodes. We did it just recently also where it's a little less of the storytelling. And I know I love telling the stories and sharing stories. And I know every lesson should have a story and every story should have a lesson. But there's sometimes I just want to get straight down to just points and bullet points. And today we're talking about how to get to the next level, the next phase, but we're going to go about this approach a little differently. This is kind of, and I have my little handy dandy journal here. These are where I'm just writing down all these different thoughts and ideas throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month, and putting those thoughts together into a, an organized episode. And I it, it, it realized that there were so many segments of my notes and journaling that were about getting to the next level, getting to the next phase. So these are literally... There's, there's not going to be any stories in here today. I don't think so. Not much at all, at least. But these are going to be my own personal deep thoughts on the topic that have helped me to get to the next level, to get to the next phase or getting unstuck or out of the rut and possibly can help you get to the next phase, the next level and the type of mindset and the way operating system you need to install into yourself to get to that next level. So it's going to be a little bit of a slightly different approach. I want to see how it goes and let me know what you think about it. Let's let's dive into it because this next phase, the next level, you need to be ready for it. You need to be ready for these level up, for these opportunities. You can also call this the opportunities episode. Like how are you getting ready for the opportunities that are coming your way? One of my ways of doing that is I tell myself and I literally write down every single day in my other journal. I've got a couple of journals. I literally write down every single day in my journal that if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. That basically means if you're always ready and prepared, you never have to get ready and prepared. And this is the, what, what the next phase, the next level is going to require of you. It's going to listen. It's going to require a, a, new level of you. You're not going to be able to be the same version of who you were. You need to level up in your character, in your personal development, in who you are as a man before that next level is even going to open up the doors for you. That next phase, that next level is going to require a whole new level of being ready of you as a man. So you can't just stay the same and expect to get to that next level. And if if you're not ready or deserving, the next level will not even arrive or if it does, you're going to miss it, or you're not even going to recognize that it's there. Like, hey, dummy, I'm over here. Come on up. You won't even notice it, and you're going to fucking waste it or not take it serious or fuck up the opportunity because you weren't at that next level ready. So what you need to do is get smarter every day. Go deeper in your writing, in your reading, in your speaking, in your thinking. Go deeper in your fucking listening and your learning and your talking and teaching. Go deeper in your inspiring of others and of yourself and the way you lead yourself and lead your family. This is how you're going to get ready and what's going to be needed to get just to that next level. Preparation is is needed. Preparation is energy and confidence. That's what it's going to be. Be ready. Be freaking ready for anything because the new next level, the new next goal and dream, the new ideal freak freedom lifestyle that you're looking for. For me, an example of mine, like it changes all the time. 
and I need to tap into it. And for me, it was getting the family involved in everything we're doing. Like that was the next level. So I needed to make some changes in who I was, how I operated. It's when we took the kids out of school because I knew the next level of our lifestyle we want to live was a new level of freedom where we get the family involved in everything. The only way to do that was to have them out of school and start home educating them. And listen, goals change. People's change and evolve. You can modify and update and change the trajectory of your life, your lifestyle, your goals, your decisions at any time. If, if goal A is the starting point to, to goal B, like what, what if on that journey to goal A, you, you change paths or change directions or a different opportunity comes around? You need to be flexible and realize it's never going to be a straight path. It's never going to be a straight line A to B. You might get knocked to the left, to the right. You might have to go back a little bit. You might fuck up and fail, screw some things up, or maybe you're going to get accelerated. You're going to get a, an opportunity comes knocking. You need to be freaking ready for it. The goal really doesn't matter. You fucking matter. Your character matters. How you get there matters. Who the fuck you are is what matters, and that's what's going to open up those doors, open up those opportunities, what you do, how you do it, and, and probably most importantly, why the fuck you're doing it is what matters because you know what? You're just, you're just getting started. You are just getting fucking started wherever you are right now in life. This ain't the end. If you think it's the end, like what the hell you need to be constantly progressing, constantly getting better, constantly thinking of, all right, what's next? What is the next level? No matter how comfortable or um, good you are, or you think you are in life. Every, every chance you get every next stage is just the starting point to the next level. This is, this is a new beginning. This is the start, a new discipline, the new level that we're talking about. And this is where the game changes. This is where shit explodes when you start thinking and operating like this about this, this next level, this opportunity uh, evaluator way of thinking it and operating. This is where shit changes for you. This is, this is where you have never really been before. This is, you know, you, you have really never been on this level, this type of discipline that's going to be required for this next level. But here's the flip side. This is who the fuck you were meant to be. This is who you were created to be. And like, it's time to, it's, it's time to, to freaking focus, to clear your head for that next level. Time for the next level. Time to stop bullshitting and just settling and, and being good enough. Oh, I'm good enough. I'm good. And settling. Stop fucking settling. Like there is nothing holding you back. Nothing stopping you from diving in, going all in, being bold. Like what, what the fuck have you been waiting for? Look around you. Look around you. Look at where you're at, what you've done. Also, though, look at where you could be. It's time to get your shit together. It's time to get into this new game, this new level. It's time to carve your own path, to dig your own way. Fight for your own path, even if people don't like it or understand it. It's your fucking purpose, your next level, your journey, not theirs. You're digging it for you, not for them. It's for you and your people. So keep digging, keep carving, keep shoveling. Keep chopping motherfucking wood, like Nick Long says. Stop waiting for shit to just happen automatically. And also, listen, stop waiting for the reward, thinking that you're just going to get rewarded for every little bit of hard work and effort, thinking that the universe is just going to drop pots of gold on your fucking ass. It ain't going to happen that way. Or waiting for recognition or approval or money or payment or riches or whatever. Don't do shit because you think someone's watching or that you're going to get repaid for, for helping someone out with something. Shit, don't even think people are watching. Just stop doing shit and then expecting shit in return. Stop doing things and expecting something, or you're going to get nothing, or you're going to be disappointed at, at the least. Even if you're doing good shit, when no one is watching, stop fucking expecting. You're expecting something for doing what's expected of you. Doesn't make any sense. Stop expecting you're doing the bare minimum and expecting these grand freaking rewards. But always remember the universe is watching and the universe is always working its machine. And if you're on the right path, doing the right things and you know who the fuck you are and what you stand for, it's working in your favor. It will send you opportunities.
but you need to put yourself in positions every day so that you can crash into and cross paths with these opportunities. They're not just going to automatically come your way. Some will just drop on your doorstep once in a while, but you've probably planted the seeds before that. Theodore Roosevelt says, I, I, or said, I put myself in the way of things happening and they happened. Shit, you just got to put yourself out there. You got to get out the fucking house, get in the game, get on the field, get in the arena, get into the trenches. And this starts and happens by you improving your habits, your daily disciplines, your non-negotiables, whatever you want to call them. Improve your habits and the outcomes will come. Outcomes only happen because of habits. So get obsessed with the habits, with the daily disciplines. Don't get obsessed with the outcomes. Yeah, you want to check in with the outcomes and the goals and the lifestyle you want to live and the the dream and the vision. Check in with that regularly so it's, it's part of you and part of your DNA, but then put that shit aside and get obsessed with the fucking habits, the daily disciplines, and, and, and keep doing the things you know you need to be doing, those daily disciplines. And we have a whole entire episode on daily disciplines and routines and all that. You could check those out in previous episodes, but- Keep doing those things consistently as a man that you know you need to be doing, even when it seems like no one's watching, you're not getting any recognition for it, you're not making any money off of it yet, yet, or it seems like it's not leading anywhere. Hold the fucking line. But you do also need to determine what is worth sticking with and what's a waste of your time and no longer serving to you and where do you need to trim the freaking fat. But have faith and trust in yourself, in your skills, in your ability, in your character, in your discipline, and your energy, and your effort. These, the, the things that you're doing will lead to the places and growth that you need to be getting to. There, there is a massive breakthrough, a, a transformation, an opportunity, a possibility right around the fucking next corner. Or, if not that one, around the next corner after that. But if you don't keep fucking going and keep turning those corners and keep driving forward, you're going to be in the same place next year and in 10 years and on your motherfucking deathbed where you're right now and you're going to die living in this regret. I wish I would have, could have, should have done this and that. That's what you need. The way you need to start operating this thought of always getting better, of constant, never ending improvement, of getting to the next level, the next phase, leveling up, exploiting opportunities that come in your path. And listen, opportunity is fucking coming. So you, and only, only coming if you keep driving forward, if you stay sharp, if you stay on your A game, like I said in the very beginning of this, if you're always on your A game, you never have to get in your A game. If you stay ready, and then when it arrives, you must attack that motherfucker. You will not be capable of seizing an opportunity if you're slow or down and out or tired or overwhelmed or depressed and burned out or pissed off and miserable if you're having a poor attitude, lacking the energy and fucking fire of man, or if you're doubtful and lacking that confidence and courage, you will not be capable of seizing that opportunity when it does show up. You put all this time and you have all this patience waiting for this to come and you keep attacking and driving forward consistently and persistently and patiently. And then when it comes, you don't want to fuck this up. And then on the flip side, look at what you've already done. Like you are a fucking badass when you start breaking down probably the things you've done in your life. This is how you stay ready by keeping yourself, uh, reminding yourself of who you are, what you've done, what you're made of. I'm going to keep saying it. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. But your time is coming. So be ready, motherfucker. It is coming. And I'm t- I could say all this stuff because all I'm doing as I'm looking at this camera telling you is just sharing my thoughts of how I talk to myself, what I write in my own, my own notebook about myself and about my own journey, about my progress. I'm just sharing it with you because I think this is valuable for you because I see how men are operating out there and I think it's valuable to share it with you. And I've noticed that the next opportunity, the big opportunity, the breakthrough, a lot of times is going to come from an unlikely freaking source. You will automatically collide with it as long as you stay on this freaking path of this mindset and this this manhood journey that you're on. This journey you're on contains it. Don't go looking or searching for it. That's only going to get in the freaking way. Like stressing about where is this breakthrough happening? When is this download from the universe going to come? The pot of gold is going to start shitting out cash. Like it ain't going to happen. That's just going to get in your way. You're going to waste energy and time and cause friction 
that, that will probably just fuck it up and push it away or distract you or lead you in the wrong direction. The universe will not open that door of opportunity until you fucking appreciate this level, until you master it this, at this level, until you earn it and show some motherfucking gratitude for what you've already got, what you're, what's in your lot already. The, the doors won't even be open for you. You will not show it to you. Because you, don't need, you haven't earned it, you didn't deserve it, you haven't mastered this level, and you're not showing enough gratitude for it. Why would you even be given the opportunity for that next level until you do all of those things? So you need to stay focused on the game, on what you want, on the vision, on the, on the, the lifestyle you want to live, on the journey that's going to lead to that lifestyle. Not focusing on what you don't want, not focusing on the bullshit, not focusing on the haters, not focusing on the nonsense and the waste of time and the, the shit that's just keeping you busy. Think about what you want to happen, not what you don't want to fucking happen and drive into that and always constantly move for, towards it. Live, live right now like you are that motherfucker at that next level. Don't live like some half-assed slouch-ass motherfucker that's just cruising along in life, drifting through life, being that leaky man we talked about. Focus on what you have, not what you want. Want what you have, not what you want. Imagine that. You actually want what you have, not wanting what you think you want. You already have it probably already, already what, you, what you actually want and need. Now then, once you can appreciate that shit, now you can go after some more of what you want maybe. But it, there has to be a level of patience. Patience doesn't mean just sit on your fucking ass and wait for the secret because if I manifest it, it's going to happen and all this other stuff. Being patient doesn't mean just fucking waiting. You can't just sit around your ass and wait for shit to happen. Get up, go out, get in the world, get in the game, be fucking bold and make shit happen. And on, on to the next phase, everything to get onto that next phase, everything you're doing now is a stepping stone to the next big thing. It's not an end, it's a freaking beginning. So when you think something's ending, like we're ending the project right now at Class 20. That is not the end of the project. That is a stepping stone of the evolution of the project, the next stages that it's going to, and the next things that we're working on. Like This is not an end, this is a beginning. It's just a bigger and better and bolder, making an even bigger impact. And that's what you need to think of it. If every move is a stepping stone to the next move, every goal that you achieve is only the starting point to the next goal. This is how you constantly never ending improve and get better and work towards self mastery by plotting these moves in advance because everything is done and everything is done for a reason. Everything is aligned with the bigger picture. Everything has a freaking purpose. It's, it's all pieces to the puzzle, the building blocks to success and to fulfillment and happiness and domination because lurking right around that corner could be your greatest challenge that comes along and you fear it and you're afraid of it and you avoid it. But you know what? Take risks, take big risks and you win big bullshit and you're going to win shit. Your, that greatest challenge around that corner could be walking side by side alongside the greatest fucking reward that you ever had. No risks and you win nothing. No risks and you win average and mediocre and a drifter in life. Bold moves lead to big rewards and a bold lifestyle. That's what it does. And a bold character. You're meant for fucking more. You're meant for bigger and better things. You have played small for long enough. You are capable more. You are fucking worthy of more. So stop telling yourself you're not capable, you're not worthy, you don't have what it takes or all this other bullshit. Stop playing fucking small. Fuck that. You should be 10 times more successful than you are. Don't, don't, now, don't get greedy, but go get yours. Go take yours. Stop playing around and, and, and for fucking pennies. Start asking yourself, all right, how can I progress a few steps closer to this ideal lifestyle or to this next level I need to get? What can you do today? Start. You should be going deep on this right now. You should be writing this down. How can I progress a few steps or even one step towards that, uh, that next level, that ideal, that next goal that I have, that next segment of this lifestyle or freedom that I want? How can I take appropriate 
action in this world that of, of what's in my control. Like, how can I take the next level of action? What is the next step of, of action that I'm going to take? Because it's fucking time. Like, what are you waiting for? What else will you wait for? To your dead? To your old? To your broke? Unfulfilled? Filled resentment and regret? Every day, every minute, every damn second, you are closer to freaking death. It's time to make a move. It's time to get to that next level. And that next level is just the building block to the next level after that. This is a never-ending, continuous process until the freaking day you die, constantly moving towards self-mastery. It's, it's your freaking time to make this shit happen. You have put in the time. You've put in the work, the effort, the energy, the years, the pain, the suffering, the sacrifice. You can, you can hang with the motherfuckers at the next level. You know you can. You just are doubting yourself and you're afraid. But when you look deep down, you know you can hang with the motherfuckers at the next level because most don't have the bandwidth to even hang with you. They're all just humans. Puny little humans. Fucked up humans. Just like you. Men. Just like you. So of course you're capable. Of course you belong. Of course you are worthy and you have what the fuck it takes, that you still have what the fuck it takes. Those people at that next level, they're probably more fucked up than you are in the real world. And you put people on a pedestal and think you don't belong or you can't hang or you can't hack it. They are probably more fucked up, less fulfilled than you are. So go and take what's yours. Go and get what's yours. You belong. You are worthy. You have what the fuck it takes. And now is not the time to be complacent. Just because I'm saying this and I'm telling you this about all this stuff, that doesn't mean you get complacent. You still have formidable opponents and you still must train and study and learn and read and practice and fucking fight harder than ever to get what you're after, to get the lifestyle you want to live, the success you want, the fulfillment you want. And you must be willing to do whatever the fuck it takes. Now, people think do whatever it takes means do whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes doesn't mean do whatever it takes. Well, it could for a douchebag, but it means do whatever it takes within the limits of still being yourself, not being a fake fuck, uh, still being in alignment with your ideal freak freedom lifestyle that you want to live, not burning bridges or screwing people over or gossiping or talking shit or pushing other people down just so you can raise up, doing whatever it takes, but also being still able to remain happy and free and in control without selling out, without selling your soul, holding on to your fucking character of who you are. So yes, do whatever it takes does not mean do whatever it takes. It basically means do good and be fucking good, but bust your ass, work hard, and do what you got to do. And hold the fucking line and stand your ground and don't crumble under the pressure of the daily battles. Don't, don't let your emotions cave in. It also means go fucking deeper. Go deeper on your goals. Go deeper on your plans and your vision. On the future of what you really want. Where you really want to be. Even if you're already where you want to be or where you think or thought you want to be, you still need all these these deeper actions. Otherwise, you're just going to stay the same. You're going to get older. You're going to retract. You're going to go backwards and you're going to fucking die. So you need to set the goal, set the vision in deeper detail. Visit, visit a couple times a week or even every day. And then realize it. Start living it and get to fucking work. We have work to do. Do the shit you know you should do and the goal, the deeper thoughts of the goal, will get you to do the shit you didn't even know you were supposed to do as you start tapping into it. Because you're fucking ready. And, and still, get e you still need to get even more ready every freaking day. Because who you needed to be to get to where you got will not be adequate enough to get you where you're going from here. You have, you've been planning and preparing and studying for this next level. Guess what, motherfucker? It's here. You are here. You are fucking ready. Let's get to freaking work. And don't forget about your successes. Don't forget about your failures. 
Well, don't forget about your failures when you're using it for feedback, for data, for lessons, for information. You should just block the failures out, eliminate the failures, and remember your successes. You're only using the failures for feedback and lessons and information going forward. Then and study and obsess and visualize and remember and revisit and re- relive your successes with deep fire and intention and, and reflection and the successes of other people where you want to be. That's where you start getting into that next level studying your previous wins and victories and successes and the wins of other people. And then when it starts getting hard and you're getting stuck and you're in a rut, keep motherfucking going. Keep driving forward. Keep getting yourself out there. Keep connecting with other people. Play the long game. And the seeds that you've been planting for all this time will start sprouting. The next level of that seed is the plant. The next level of that plant is the fruits. And the next level of the fruits is eating the motherfucking fruits with a smile on your face, living that ultimate ideal freak freedom lifestyle you're looking for. As long as you keep practicing, keep getting better and smarter, keep reading and writing and speaking, studying and mastering yourself, what you are, your own shit, your own, what you're about, your own, your own ethos, your own mantra, being well-spoken, continuing, constantly sharpening your mind to recall the shit you already know. So you can recall it when you need it, what you need. And opportunities will just keep fucking coming. Because I'm telling you, there are some big explosive opportunities coming your way. You better be ready, motherfucker. Because you don't have complete control over the future. But you might be able to influence, and you might be able to influence some aspects of the future and prepare for it the best you can and create some of it, but you will never have absolute control over it, over that next level. But you can control your mindset, your attitude, your energy, and your actions. Not just in the future of that next level, but right fucking now also. And until you do that, you will never be worthy and you will never open up the doors of opportunities for that next level. So this is just simply a straightforward, just almost preaching about the mindset and the approach and the attack you need to have in yourself as a man to get to the next level so you can seize the opportunities when they come your way because they are coming if you work and put in this work and truly work and have faith and belief in it that you're doing the right thing and you're right on the right path. It's coming. There is a big fucking breakthrough coming your way. Don't slow down. Don't stop. Don't let the haters and the opposition and the enemy and the bullshit and the devil stop you. Drive through it. Run towards a gunfire. Run into the burning house and the next level is waiting right on the other side of that. Keep rolling, motherfucker. This is the path. This is the way. Be the way. And on your way to that next level, remind yourself that you are fucking awesome. No excuses.